Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. Good morning. I just wanted to show you guys my Axolotl babies that are now big. These are the ones that I was left with. I have a little girl here, and I have a male back there, and another male here, and a female there. Um, <clears throat> this tank here is actually the mother and father's tank. Sorry about the little bit of blurriness, but I'm using my iPhone again because I don't have a camcorder just yet. But, um, there's a little situation that happened that really, really made me upset. Um, I had a barbecue here at my house, and, um, this 10-year-old kid came into my house when he wanted to use the bathroom or something, and he took a long time, and I was trying to figure out why it took so long for him to use the bathroom, and when I came into the house, um, he was going out the door, and I just had a feeling to go look at my oxalato tank, and I noticed that the whole tank was full of soap. He, I think he was about 10 or 11 years old, <clears throat> he threw soap in here because he said he didn't like them. He thought they were ugly, and so he wanted to kill them. So I was extremely pissed off, and there were some things that I said that would hurt a pe person and just make them want to, you know, pass away from what I said to him, because I was just so mean to him. And I yelled at him, and his mother looked at him and said, You didn't do anything wrong. It's okay. And I looked at her, and I gave her a bunch of words that you guys wouldn't believe come out of my mouth. But So, with that said, on my Facebook page, I posted some photos. The mom and dad have, have been killed. And so now I have these babies left. And these guys are, are not as uh, full-grown as mom and dad. Um, see, that's a male right there. You can see his testicles in the back of his legs. Um... He is about the size of his mother, and the female is over here, and she is almost the size of her mother, but um, she came out gorgeous. Look at her, just pure, pure, pure white with pink and black eyes. She's a totally, sorry about that, my alarm went off on my cell phone. It was the funniest thing, so it kind of cut you guys off. This is a female as well. Um, actually, I don't know, is that a female? Maybe it's a male. See, when they're this size, um, they're kind of hard to, to sex. When they're this big, I can sex them much better. This is definitely a girl, because see, there's nothing down there. <clears throat> but if you look at the boy back there, let's see, how can I... Well, his leg's in the way, but he's got some big testicles. So, I love the wild ones. Aren't they pretty? Just so pretty. So, I got these guys in here living. They're eating some bloodworms, as you can see. And I'm checking the water, making sure everything is fine. I had to clean out this tank really well. So, um, probably in a few months, these guys will start to breed. And from there, I will have um, some more. Oh, do you guys see the difference in the coloring? One is kind of a golden color, and the other one's kind of white. These are both leucistics. The thing is, is the one that's dark back there, and the one that's over there, those were the ones that I raised in my pond. And because I did that as an experiment, I threw them in there as babies. Um, the water turned completely green from the sun getting to the water, and it actually stained their body. And so they're not pure white. Um, their babies will come out looking like this one, but... When you put them inside of a pond, that's what they look like. They're very stained. And this is my bloodline here. You can see the little black on the gills and the red. So that's really, really cool. I really love that a lot. This is a different bloodline. This one's a different bloodline. This came from someone who I ordered some eggs from. And um, it's really hard to find the eggs. Um, it took forever to try to get it. So I'm hoping for some other varieties. And then later on, I'll have some gold ones. So... I'm actually going to go house hunting this morning, and if everything works out and I have a new home, I'm going to have a 55-gallon fish tank with a bunch of these guys living together, the golds, the wilds, the leucistic. So I hope to have that video for you guys. So rest in peace, Lucy and Desi. That was the mom and dad who got me started with all my little oxalatos. They were the last ones left from the five that I had in the very beginning when I bought all those babies. Uh, it was one of my very first videos. What a gorgeous leucistic. Or leocystic, whatever they pronounce in pronunciation. Look at that pretty face. Alright, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a comment below and tell me what you guys think about axolotls. Axolotls. 
And um, if you guys have one, make a video and do it as a video response and put it on the comment below. And let me see your little axolotos. <clears throat> Sorry, it's early in the morning and my throat is not cleared up. <laughs> Need some more coffee. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Leave me a video response. If not, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about axolotos. If you guys have them or, you know, maybe tell me where you guys bought them at. You know, if you ordered eggs or if you ordered these guys as babies. I usually sell mine when they're about an inch to two inches. They're really about two inches. And I do have some for sale right now. I have these wilds, really little, but this size, for $20, or sorry, $30, and with the shipping, $35. I have these guys for $40, and with the shipping, $45, and then I have the Goldens for $50, with shipping, $55, and I'll show you guys those another time, but um, <clears throat> I'm almost sold out of the... Uh, Goldens, and I'm completely sold out of the Leocystics, but I have plenty of the Wilds. So I'm going to be breeding some more Wilds, some of these Leos, and some uh, lots of Goldens, and hopefully I'll have some black ones, blue ones, maybe some Andersonis, and hopefully um, some Harlequins. And wouldn't it be cool to have a cider? That's where two of these fuse together, and on one side of the body it's dark, and the other side it's white. Oh, look at those two. It's so cute. Alright, there's a little smile for you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.